What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a very exciting new mail day here. We got stuff like the Shaq jersey you see here. We also have a new repack. We also have a package from an NBA team. It's a very big box, so I'll get into it at the end of the video because it takes up the whole screen. As well as the cards I got from the Steph Curry trade from our last mail day. So if you haven't seen that one, I teased it then. It was one of our best mail days yet. Really exciting stuff. And uh, yeah, tons of fun. So another mail day here. If you guys like these videos, as always, drop a like. Help us out a ton. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. Also, ring the notification bell to be notified every single time we post and never miss another video. And share a comment as well if you're so inclined. If you're interested in uh, helping support the channel for a low monthly fee, get some bonus content like videos, badges, emojis, various perks. Then uh, the first link in the description as well as the I here if you're on mobile or and desktop is a join button down there. Um, that will give you a link where you can go and uh, sign up for the membership. If you want to help us out, totally optional, but appreciate all your support. So mail day time. And I'm just gonna quickly get into this one, like real quick. Just want to show you guys, I picked up a Shaq jersey. It's huge. So as you see here, uh, Beckett there, Shaq, that's his auto. And um, yeah, I love Shaq. One of my favorite players ever. So I always want to get some cool Shaq stuff. Definitely want to get some cool Shaq cards, but haven't gotten to it yet. I have maybe a few small things, but at some point, definitely want to pick up some really nice Shaq stuff. One of my favorite players ever. So jersey there, huge jersey. Had to fold it up, and even then, it takes up most of the screen. So there you go. Let's get this to the side now and put it down so we can get into the cards. So we'll start with these here. Then we'll go into the repack after. And then after that, we'll get into that package from an NBA team, which uh, I'm really, really excited to show you guys that one. It's it's super cool. And anyway, let's get into these here. So these are just two cards. And uh, let me get that tape off real quick. But these are from uh, Allison Family Cards. If you have, haven't seen our select hanger video, uh, they actually sold me the uh, select hangers from that one. Fun review to check out another select uh, retail format. So that was our last video. Definitely check it out if you haven't already, as well as many others. But got these uh, for the Grizz PC. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Desmond Bain, Tillman. Love it. Love the Grizz guys. And it's been a fun year as a last few years of collecting for, for Grizzlies PC since we had rookies, we had a lot of good stuff going on. So just two quick cards. Now here's the cards I traded to get that, uh, or trade the Curry for and got these. It's two cards. So let's show you what I got. And then comment down below. Do you think I did terrible? Do you think I did okay? Do you think I won by a little, by a landslide, right? I think the general consensus was that I probably shouldn't have traded it. Um, I'm happy with the trade I made. I think that's the most important thing, but, um, yeah, so let's see what, what you guys think now. Let me show you guys these cards. I'm very happy with it. And here's the trade I made for uh, the Steph Curry Hoops art. Once again, if you haven't seen that card yet, my last mail day, which has tons of awesome stuff in that one, uh, one of our best yet, has a card in there. So here's the first one. PSA graded. And Anthony Edwards. There we go. No numbering, though. It's a... Or an Anthony Edwards... PSA 9 contenders is the premium one. So these aren't numbered. Uh, don't know what the print run is, but premium edition autographs. I have the gold one, which I pulled in our boxes versus break series. Definitely a fun one. We'll definitely get that going again soon. Stay tuned, uh, probably for optic, hopefully. And then, uh, yeah, this is the PSA 9 one contenders. Anthony Edwards on card. Big Ant fan. Excited to see how he does uh, this coming season. And yeah, there we go. So this is card uh, number one here. And then here is the... Second card. This is the bigger card, and I guess this will be the big one to determine whether or not you guys like the deal, don't like the deal. It's a, it's a really special card, and I wouldn't have moved the card unless you know, I thought it was a really good deal. As well as I went to a great place. He's a the guy who got it. Uh, Brian, thank you for the deal. He's a Curry collector, so it's awesome to see that card go to someone who's really going to cherish it and uh, in their collection. So here's the card. See that one. All right, let's uh, go like this. So this is the card. I don't know if you guys can tell what that is yet. Some of you might have guessed already. Kevin Durant. So let me get a little closer in this one. This is a, uh, it's a sneaky set that I, I didn't really see coming. You know, like we saw the product coming and it was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And I think when it really landed, this set really took off. And boxes, if you guys remember for one, kind of just skyrocketed. So this is the card, the back, and there's the front. It's the Timeless Moments, Kevin Durant. It's the 29 of 49 one. This is from Panini 1. So a lot of top players have their moments on the card. So Ray Allen hitting that uh, three against Spurs. Things like that. I'm forgetting so many. This is Kevin Durant here. You can see there's the back. There's the moment there for that ring one. But yeah, really love it. Don't have a ton of KD stuff. And Nets are, are super duper loaded. I think he can uh, he can win some more and add to his legacy. And um, yeah, so I was definitely not looking to trade the Curry. 
he made an offer and I said, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. We, uh, you know, negotiate for a little bit, was able to work something out and we made the deal for these two. So I'm more than happy with what I got. Really love these huge Anthony Edwards fan. Love this guy. And then, uh, Kevin Durant on card, timeless moments, auto. One of the coolest sets they've come out with in a while. There's the Kawhi Leonard shot that he hit, uh, to beat the Sixers. That's a one I, I really want that one. That one's so nice. There's so many cool ones. So if you haven't seen this set on like, eBay or something like that, definitely check it out. It's one of the coolest sets that they made in recent memory, highlighting huge moments, and we'll see what they do this year. But that's the these are the two cards I got. So I think uh, I personally thought I did really well. So what do you guys think? Feel free to you know, look them up, see what you think, and um, or just if you don't want to look them up at all, just a, a coolness factor. <laughs> Who do you think won? The Curry I know is, is a really cool card, but uh, yeah, I was I was on the fence about trading it and. I had talked to several other people about it, never made a deal, and I was content to just hopefully keep it. But uh, he made a, a fair offer, and and there we go, we we made this deal. So traded for these two, um, yeah, and I like it. So comments down below, thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Dub on scale from one to ten. How about that? Rate rate it on scale from one to ten. Like ten being it did incredible, the best I could do. One being the worst I could possibly do, awful. So and then and the why too. Curious. Of course, uh, everyone's got varying opinions, but I personally am happy with it. I think that's all I can, uh, you know, all I can say here. And um. That's all you can hope for in a trade. Get some cool cards for your collection that I like. And I, I really like this one. If I wish that the like, Kawhi wasn't so expensive in the Ray Allen, because I really want those ones. But they cost like a like these this set is super, super expensive. As you can see. If you ever seen them on eBay, you'll you'll know. But those are the two cards we got. And yeah, the curry has been traded, and I'll update you guys on trade some more in uh in the future whenever I do them. But let's get into this repack here, and then we'll get into the package from the NBA team, which is uh it's, it's so cool. So, Wax Box Club here. Let me get that to focus a little better. There we go. I already missed the Curry, man. Especially, <laughs> a lot of people pointed this out, but it's not just Curry. It's Lucky Curry. We we know the Curry luck on this channel. And so, people are like, how can you trade Lucky uh, Lucky Curry? He's not. That's not the Lucky Curry one. Lucky Curry is that contenders-based one, but still. Curry, man. I hope I get another auto of him soon, but uh, yeah, happy with the deal. And I think that, you know, both value-wise, cool factor-wise, in my opinion, for my collection, I'm very happy with how I did it. So uh, here's the Hall of Fame wax box. So uh, the link will be down below for this one. Cost is a 240 Canadian or 190 US. So 13 to 14 featured Hall of Fame packs, two to four extra, three to four vintage nostalgia, one wax pack, 18 to 22 total packs, one guaranteed graded card. So wax packs, custom wax box pack. Dude, <laughs> so many like uh, kind of words that sound similar. Wax packs, custom bo wax box pack. I think I don't even know if I read that right, but it contains five cards, one auto, three premium cards, uh, one graded card, featured packs, hit ratio 13 to 15. All right, so tops formula, one pack guarantee. This is multi sport, by the way, and then there's this site there. So let's uh, put that to the side and see what we got. I don't really do too much of the other sports. I usually keep it to football and basketball, but here's here's an interesting question. If I was going to do any other sport on this channel or even just do on say another channel that I start what sport would you want to see the most is it baseball is it soccer is it wrestling is it tennis and you know like just what would it be right what would that sport be would it be cricket water polo let's uh let's hear your thoughts I'm curious what you guys want to see the most so here we go all right so let's see uh see our packs here jeez uh it did say you get a lot of packs so Let's see what packs we have though. Let's see if we got uh, some super amazing packs here or or what. So a lot of these bags. So that's uh, what 16 optic is it or is it 17 optic? Um, 16. Yeah, I remember opening this one actually. Then 21 select, 21 series two, 91 Opichi, Opichi Keen, and then all right, I guess that would be the Formula One right on the front. I know so little about Formula One. It's not even funny, but I always see people asking for different sports. So this is this is it. If there's ever other sports stuff I'm doing, it's always going to be in a mail day like this. I call them mail days, but it's pretty much just everything else that's not like our main kind of series. So Formula One, hockey. I don't know nothing about hockey. I could hit the biggest hockey card on planet Earth. It could literally have a little pop-up that says this is a million dollar card, and I wouldn't know. I'm just like, interesting. Is this, is, guys, is this good? Can I get a hand here? Uh, soccer, I know a uh, little bit of soccer. Not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, we got uh, H2, Mosaic. And, oh, here, all right, this is a little, I know this, all right, I know this. Uh, we got Revolution, this is probably Asia, right? Yeah, Asia, not to be confused with the Chinese New Year. And then there's Absolute, this is probably some sort of retail. Skybox, all right, Series 2. And then Hoops, 
see some more basketball. What we got in here? Let's see some juicy basketball ones. Or I, I believe this would be probably football now. But I always, I see a lot of quantity here. I always prefer you know quality in terms of quantity, but sometimes quantity uh, quantity can surprise you. What's this one? Uh, okay, so maybe retail, some sort of retail one. All right, so let's just get into the packs and see what we get. Oh, actually, you know, let's do this one first. This one. So let's uh, see what's in here. And then let me know your thoughts, as always, on the repack down below. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it happy? Is it sad? What will you change? What would you keep? What do you like? What do you not like? Everything like that. So I think that's empty. All right, good. All right, so let's see our graded card first. It's a Wander Franco. Rated prospect. <laughs> rated prospect. All right. Uh, 2020 Optic Wander Franco. Here we go for the Rays. Unfortunately, Panini has no logos for baseball. So I don't, I used, I did a little bit of Panini baseball, but that was before I actually knew there was no logos. And then I think that's when I opened the 16 Optic and I realized there's no logos. And that went strictly to tops, but it's a cool card. Hollow, Wander. And then I see that one in the back right there. Let's see. All right. We got uh, Alex Ovechkin. I, I, I apologize. I know nothing about hockey. Derek Henry. Derek Henry? Josh Jackson? I know these guys. Derek Henry, Josh Jackson uh, played a great game uh, the other day. And then Josh Jackson. There's the Revolution base. And then there's a Desmond Bain auto. Hmm. Very nice. All right. So, I mean, yeah. What, what are your thoughts? Let's get into the packs, though. So, got to start with basketball. We all, we all want to see basketball here. Let's see. Asia. I don't know if we've ever opened one of these on the channel before. Or maybe we have. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, this is a parallel of some sort. All right, that's pretty cool. Steven Adams, now a Grizzly. Got a Killian Hayes. Asia, all right, so there you go. And a Rookie Revolution, that's a nice, that's a nice card, right? Got PG, formerly GP. And there you go, so. All right, okay, start. Let's see uh, what's in this pack here. What is this one? This is... I don't know, it doesn't say anything. All right. Oh, Dollar Tree. Okay, so Dollar Tree, you can find these at uh, Dollar Tree for a dollar. And they have yellow parallels. Okay. Andrew Wiggins. Imagine Dollar Tree starts charging resale. Like, I'm sorry, this thing's 100 bucks. We got, oh, ooh, ooh. Anthony Edwards. I love Ant. My guy. And then Isaiah Stewart there. Nice. All right. Solid, uh, solid pack. Here's something I know nothing about. Skybox Series 2. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend I know something about it. I don't. So, if you, as always, if you see something, say something. You can help a, a lost collector in need. Who, who has no clue what he's looking at. I'm going to need us to help badly. Okay. That was a little tough to open. I think last time you guys helped me out, Sean Kemp and uh, I think Glenn Rice were the rookies. I guess if we... I don't know if this is the same here. I know nothing about these uh these ones, but if you see something, let me know. There's a Pistons, the rookie of the whole Pistons team. Probably checklist, right? Yeah, so there you go. I'm looking. Uh, Bo Kimball. All right. It's kind of cool name. Knicks. And Xavier McDaniel. Clyde Drexler. Glenn Is this the... Is that the same one from last time or no? Oh, maybe, yeah. All right, well, cool. Yeah, I mean, if there's anything spectacular, let me know. I don't, I don't remember what our last Glenn Rice looks like. I'm not familiar with that set at all, but... Is this the, is that the original Poop Brown? I think it is, right? I mean, maybe there's one before that, but we uh, always rave about our fan favorite set. If you're new to the hobby and wondering what's the most popular set, it's Poop Brown. Poop Brown Don Russ from 1718. Legendary set. And I think we have an auto here, but... Um, yeah, that might be the OG Poop Brown, unless there's one before that. Let's see what we have here. Ready for a Slamma Jamma Kablamo... Vertical. Might be a vet. It is a vet. Hamadou Diallo. Alright. Auto's an auto. I'll take it. Not with the Thunder anymore. I forgot what team he's with now, but not the Thunder. And then Azabuki. You guys thought that there's no Azabuki today. There's always an Azabuki. That's uh that's how life goes. Alright, so I have a... Uh... Oh no, I don't have a sleeve. Alright, well. I could have sworn I had a sleeve prepared. Guess not. Hamadou Diallo. 
feel like I pulled him a million times in 1819. Now, a little outside our comfort zone, some uh, mosaic soccer. Okay. Hey, is this the one actually? Oh, no. I have the select for this one. Euro 2020. All right. Let's see. Soccer. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. All right. Ooh. That's something. All right. Do we get auto here? I think so. I don't think so. I know. Actually, I see it right there. All right. We got uh, Nick Pope. Is he good? We got, we got the Pope. Very cool. I must say... I don't know. Never heard of Nick Pope. There's some guys I know, some guys I don't know. He would be one guy I don't know. For all I know, he's like the GOAT and I don't know. But yeah, is he good? Is he bad? Is he happy? Is he sad? All right, now let's get into some Formula One. And I, <laughs> mm, who knows? Let's see something cool. Something shiny in there. I mean, that's going to count for something, right? Okay, these are both backwards. We got Aston Martin Red Bull Racing team logo with a with a with my fingerprint on it now. All right, that's uh that's something there. Mercedes. I mean, I'm not gonna read that. You guys can see that. There you go. I mean, I don't know. Is it what's what's good here? What's not? It's shiny. That that counts for something. And then we got another. Yeah, don't mind my fingerprints. And there's an actual uh actual guy there. I don't know. I honestly, I must admit, I have no clue. And we're going to continue that. Then we'll finish off with the football and the baseball where I know a little, a little more football, especially baseball, not so especially, but see now I don't really watch any of these other sports. I do watch baseball, but only Yankee stuff. So I'm just kind of clueless when it comes to a lot of uh, non Yankees things and it's been an interesting year so far for my Yanks MVP. 1819. 1819. What a special year. My only regret is I didn't buy more. All right. Talking about basketball, of course. Oh, we got a. Mm hmm. Something shiny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like it's kind of fun though. It reminds me of when I was first uh, collecting. I just had no clue what anything was. All right, we got shiny guy. That's what we'll call that. But yeah, I mean, I used to just kind of, you know, sit down, open open the packs, and, you know, they don't really tell you what you should be looking for, which is why I, you know, personally kind of started saying, hey, look, it'd be nice to start making reviews of stuff. Because a lot of things you just don't know. Like, say you pulled the Galactic. It's not numbered. I don't know. Like, why would I think that's something crazy? Maybe on the box it, it advertises it, right? But some stuff just isn't kind of obvious. And it was fun to kind of just go through that. I remember when I was younger, I mean, I'm sure I pulled something okay. I used to open a lot of baseball when I was younger, but I didn't know it. All I just saw was, oh, A-Rod, Jeter, Matsui, something like that, right? And then that's it. So for all I know, one would one was like a one of one, something like that. And I was like, ah, it's not the player I love, though. And then I get Jeter base. I'm like, oh, now that I love. So here's some more hockey to kind of just, oh, these all look different. I don't even know. Oh, oh. Can we get some game worn? Game used, yeah, that's pretty cool. Using an official NHL game. I like to see that. That's nice. And I just put my finger on it. Whoops. And uh yeah. Fun. Alright, now alright, so we should be a little more familiar with this stuff. That's the only thing that I don't like about say multi sport is that if you don't collect even one of the sports, then you're kinda of like, alright, well now I just have a random card like a bunch of cards, maybe some good, maybe some bad, right? Of a sport that I just don't collect. Jose Abreu, got a Jonathan Lucroy, and Manny Machado. So I'm yelling at a Tatis the other day. Select. What do we have? Oh. Select. What do we have in this pack? See something shiny. Got Juan Soto. I think he was the cover athlete. I, I didn't really pay attention to it, but. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Colton Wong, all right, numbered to 149. Cool. Filler. Universal language is filler. Everyone knows filler. Brian Anderson and Blake Snell. More baseball. This is Series 2, stuff that I really never open. The sets that I open, Heritage, the Bowman ones. 
Topps Chrome, uh, a couple others, but finest. Yeah, I don't really know. Mainly looking for like some sort of rookie or something like that. Future stars. Uh, there's a rookie. Not a name I've heard of yet. There's a few guys I know from, I guess, this uh, year of collecting, but none that stood out there. So if one of those was guys I should know, let me know. And I know sometimes that number at the bottom is an indication, but we'll check that later. Okay, this should be our final uh, final baseball that we get into football. So they weren't joking. He had a ton of packs. I feel like we've been ripping for an hour. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Didn't recognize anything. All right. Football. So this is 2011 Threads. Hobby. Mark Ingram on the front. A decade ago, this stuff released. Uh, do we have Threads? Or do we have Filler? It's probably Filler. Okay. Oh, am I blind? I'm see. I have. I'm seriously blind. I'm like this. This uh, Bradshaw card won't come off of the, the filler or whatever thick card we have. I didn't even see that white jersey piece. And it's a dirty jersey. I, I, so this should be game worn, right? Bradshaw. Oh, got a game worn. Yeah, I like to see that dirty jersey. Mod Bradshaw. I like that. Very nice card. Put that there, and then we got a rookie, Brandon Hogan, and that should be it. All right. Cool. Hits a hit. For my Giants, I like it. 1991 football. Don't know. Not familiar with 1991 football. Any of the stuff from around the time I'm not too familiar with. Why is this stuff like greasy? Oh, it's just inside the pad. That thing feels like oily. Huh, okay. Guess not. It's a weird texture. Mm hmm. Rod Woodson. Backwards. What's it, what are they doing here? What's, what's going on? All right. Some things never change. All right. Uh, Andre Reed. Got to flip it again. If you see something, please do say something. All right. Don't think uh, anything too spectacular, but let me know. All right. Now I, I do know these ones. Let's see what we got from Legacy. Yeah, but so the thing about having such a kind of wide variety of stuff is you know so, the odds that someone collects all those things is low and we might have something here right so like even though if i collected almost everything here what if i didn't collect like the older baseball stuff or the older football things and all of a sudden i go oh, i don't know i'm not too interested in that hey it's not bad Kadarius tony for my team there i saw some uh Thing. he had negative two yards so far <laughs> so i have more yards than him right now if you're watching this you have more yards than a uh, canarius tony it's unfortunate but plenty of time to rack up some yards i hope trevor lawrence i don't know and canarius tony all right so interesting uh theme here maybe trevor lawrence future giants is that what they're trying to say or canarius tony future jaguar very interesting yeah what do you guys think who's impressed you so far this season who's let you down been a interesting start. Zach Wilson is like a gajillion picks. Interceptions, that is. And then we have something here. Alex Smith is Devin. Jordan Fuller there. Is this numbered? Nay. And this shouldn't be either. Jordan Fuller. All right. Nice, though. We got this guy. Little Tom Brady. Well, something. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts. Kind of flip through that uh, highlight stack to get a few autos and uh, actually a few hits. Got like four or five hits. Let's take a look. Got this auto here. Trevor Lawrence there. Another jersey. Got a jersey there. I don't know what this is. Looks like a yeah NHL player credentials. It looks like it. So they did a good job. Nick Pope. Diallo. Yeah. Anthony Edwards and uh, Killing Hayes. Let me know what you guys think. Good, bad, average. Let's see uh, your thoughts below, and then once again, let me know what you guys think about the cards I traded for. How do you think I did? So, that being said, let's uh, clear off the table, and we'll get the uh, big box from an NBA team on the table. All right, so here we go with this package. We got the uh, big box here, and it's little magnets right here, so it's, there you go. 
open up like that a huge wooden box so this is from the san antonio spurs big shout out to the spurs class organization man i really appreciate it it's crazy but uh you might be wondering what did the spurs uh send to uh to a grizzlies fan something very very nice and i was very surprised by this but um yeah huge thanks i uh, love the spurs so much respect for them and they got some nice guys on that team there always wishing them the best but here's what we got and don't mind my oh, fingerprints there but yeah huge box as you can see really uh Really big so let me stand this up a little bit and uh move this sit back there we go so we see a few things in here first things first uh let me let me do this one first so they got a water bottle in here look at that that's a nice box it's like really high quality box it's got a little water bottle in this pac-man already called this though so it's not mine unfortunately there we go spurs bottle and uh, it's a nice bottle there you go so that's a uh, this Pac-Man called that. That's that's all hers now, unfortunately for me. But we also got this hat, San Antonio. I know a bunch of Spurs fans who actually love love a lot of these things, and I, and I love them too. It's so awesome. And then we get to some stuff, and you're wondering, you know, what, what would the Spurs send me? Here's the first kind of me-related item. Get this out of here. We got a bobblehead. We got a. Rudy, DJ Rudy, dude, this is the coolest thing ever. I actually have a little, if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you know I have like a little, little bobblehead collection. I have Jedi Judge, I have Jeter, I have um, A-Rod, guys like that, but like mainly Yankees, obviously, and um, like Jeremy Shockey, some Giants guys, Eli Manning. Um, but yeah, so DJ Rudy joins the club. This is so cool. Look at that. Rudy is officially, look at him. I love this, man. Funny story is my first, uh, my first bobblehead I ever got was uh one of my i think my first yankees game and it was like one of those promotional nights you, it was don mattingly the bobblehead you got that or a towel or something like that and so i chose the bobblehead and then i think my parents would tell me don't take it out the box but i really want to take it out so I they, they're like you're gonna break it so i took it out and i immediately dropped it and it broke um the hat chipped but my mom glued it back on so i have that my first bobblehead but yeah gotta be delicate with these love it and um rudy we'll put that right out let's put that right here there you go dj rudy oh my goodness that's that's like the most that's like the coolest bobblehead I've ever seen in my life. DJ Rudy. I love it. And then here is the uh, the big item. So, we've got a Rudy Gay signed jersey. This is a Spurs one. And this is not just any jersey. I mean, you see that auto there. He wears 22. And if you guys know my favorite number, which is 22, is because of Rudy Gay. So, that's my favorite number, number 22, DJ Rudy. Ooh, love it. And it's a huge jersey. Legend has it, Rudy Gay's pretty tall. So, 22. There we go. There's that that logo man. And look at that. Ooh. Can't just get these ones. That's so nice. I love that. Five rings. Five championships for the Spurs. Got that logo man, which uh, at some point, maybe we'll end up on a... Well, not this one, but like, you know, they cut out for the, the logo man that we collect. To, that we want to pull National Treasures, but somehow never pull up, right? Maybe one day we'll pull a logo man, but that's the little logo man that, that goes in there. Really, really cool. So very interesting. This is kind of like a player jersey, I guess, because as you can see on this side, I'm kind of messing up the, I did a, I took it out and I refolded it. I, I did, a, did a solid job, completely messed it up, but there's that little player tag there and they're yeah, really awesome. Really awesome. So got the logo. This is a huge piece for my Rudy Gay collection, Frost. Swoosh, Spurs, 22, Rudy, absolutely awesome. Love this piece, man. This is so awesome. So, my guys over at the Spurs, thank you so much. And yeah, there we, that, I mean, this is like, I want to just like take a screenshot of this and that should be my profile picture. That's so, actually, I mean, I get the auto. There you go. The full thing in there. That is so awesome. One of the coolest packages I've ever received. So thank you to the Spurs. Amazing organization. And uh, Grizzlies, balls in your court. Let's get all the Rudy I need, I need. Let's see. I need Raptors, Kings, now Jazz, Grizzlies. I, I want to have a full Rudy collection. All right. So we know it's on the list, but there we go. Let me know what you think. Once again, thank you to the Spurs. A-plus organization, man. You got, like, just so awesome. And, um, yeah, this is just one of the coolest things I've ever received. So got DJ Rudy there. And then I got this uh, jersey here. And, man, that's just so cool. I love this. I love this little shot there. So let me know your thoughts on this mail day. Super fun, geeking out at the end on uh, on some really cool things for the for the collection, and uh, obviously we had the cards from the trade, 
as well as um, the Repack and uh, the uh, Shack jersey. So they have jerseys. But let me know what you guys think about just anything here. Let me know your thoughts, the Repack, the trade, and um, yeah, stay tuned for many more Mail Days. Once again, Mail Days is kind of just like everything. Just if it's not our usual regularly scheduled program, it, it's just like a Mail Day. So tons of, I usually try to make it, you know, so that there's something like noteworthy in it, not just like some random, uh, just got like one card in. But I always wait till like something comes in that I make a, a Mail Day. And yeah, fun one. So we're on a, we did this one and we did the one before. Got some great mail day stuff going on. So stay tuned for many more. And that's it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts once again. And yeah, thank you to everyone who made a deal, send stuff in, things like that. And let me know your thoughts down below once again. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.